All right, folks. Hope you have had a good weekend. Let's jump into the Sunday prep here. So, uh, to me, the market looks good. Market looks good. Daily squeeze here for the S and P 500. Histogram is positive. So, uh, to me, the structure of the market looks really good here. And you know, granted, uh, you look at a weekly chart. We're a bit extended. We're up here at plus two ATR. So, you know, of course, there is a potential that sometime soon you do get a bit of a pullback. Uh, my mindset is just continuing to get long, good-looking setups until a pullback happens, and then you kind of take it from there. So, you know, what I'm trying to say is, as long as the structure here of the market is bullish, I think you tend to think the path of least resistance is to the upside. So, as far as different groups here in the market that I like, I like a couple on a pullback, and then a few got squeezes here. So, as far as, you know, the semiconductors, great looking daily squeeze that fires long here. Now, I would wait for a bit of a dip maybe to the daily 8 EMA or to the daily 21, but I'll wait for a bit of a dip here to look to get long, um, you know, a broad common NVIDIA, something here in the semiconductor space because you do have a daily, um, a three-day squeeze that hasn't fired to the upside yet, and you got a beautiful weekly squeeze here. So I think that weekly squeeze has the potential to take you higher for the next handful of months where that daily chart is a bit extended. So I think you wait for a bit of a dip here. So wait for a dip on semis, uh, and the financials look really good here, so I think another one, maybe you wait for a bit of a pullback. Uh, the weekly chart looks good, so you got a beautiful weekly squeeze here. Great looking three day squeeze here. And the daily chart is just a little bit out of the buy zone. So last week in the mastery, uh, taking a setup I want to focus on with y'all in the video today, Golden was a beautiful move. So you had a daily squeeze, a couple of the squeezes here, uh, but that's a move you're looking for from the 21 into about two to three ATR. So you're waiting for a dip here on the financials, though I do think they're looking pretty solid. So you wait for a dip there, but then with the industrials here, I don't think you have to wait for a dip. You get a really bullish weekly squeeze. You have a good looking three day squeeze, and you get a daily squeeze setting up here at the buy zone. So unlike the financials or the semiconductors who are trading up there you know, it plus one, plus two ATR. You're setting up here with a bunch of different squeezes at the buy zone. So I do like the industrials here. And then obviously, y'all's favorite. Technology also has a good daily squeeze setting up at the 21. So it's, uh, in terms of tech stocks, uh, I really like Apple here. We got a position last week in the options room. A perfect structure. Great looking daily squeeze. And if the Qs do make a move into the upside, Apple should follow suit. As far as what I like in the industrials, Caterpillar's pretty ugly here. UMP is a bit sloppy. 3M is a little bit sloppy. So I do think you can keep it simple. Just trade XLI if you like the structure of those squeezes. Or Honeywell here, HON. Has a good looking daily squeeze setting up at the 21. So that's what I'm liking as far as groups. Uh, semiconductors and financials on a pullback i'll take it or in the industrials or tech uh, with the current daily squeezes but as far as the setup i want to focus on uh, let's call this a triple squeeze so that was pretty much our trade from goldman last week uh, more than a triple squeeze but you had a beautiful weekly squeeze a great looking three day squeeze you had a daily squeeze you had a four hour you had a two hour, you had a one hour squeeze. There was also a 30 minute, there was a 15 minute, there was even a freaking five minute squeeze. So the whole point here is when something is in an uptrend and you have squeezes with a bullish structure, bullish structure meaning you're above the 21 EMA, histogram is positive, you got stacked EMAs, when all of those things come together and you're squeezing on a weekly chart all the way down to a five minute chart, there's a pretty good chance of a nice push like that. So again, you wait for a pullback here for your next entry, but that different series of squeezes from a weekly down to a 15 to a five minute, that's what's got us into, that's what got us into Goldman last week. So along the same thought process here in terms of multi squeezes, Broadcom is pretty interesting. So you got a weekly squeeze here. You've got a three-day. Uh, and you got a daily squeeze. So the thought process is you're in an uptrend. You've got both a structure. And as you build up energy all over the place here, you're gearing up for that next leg towards the upside. So I like Broadcom from that perspective. 
Tractor Supply Company is also pretty interesting here as well. Great looking daily squeeze. We have got a good looking three day and you got a weekly. So y'all get the point. Pretty straightforward. So Tractor Supply Company, Broadcom, and then Comcast here. You got your weekly squeeze, bullish structure, stack DMAs, green 10x bars. There's your three day fit in the same fit in the same bill. And there's a good looking daily. So I like Broadcom, I like Comcast, I like oh, what else is on the list here? Tesla is also very similar. So Tesla, you're currently firing a daily squeeze, but you're finding support here at the AEMA. You got a beautiful three-day squeeze setting up, and you got a bullish weekly squeeze setting up. So again, the whole thought process is when something has a bullish structure, but then just a whole series of squeezes from a bigger time frame like a weekly chart all the way down to, say, a four-hour or a 30-minute chart, and you can find that kind of structure, you found something like a Goldman Sachs, where on the surface, all we're really doing here is trading sideways. However, we're building up energy from a weekly chart all the way down to a five minute. You're squeezing, gearing up for that impressive move here. So if you can find those moments in time where you're in an uptrend, but everything is building up energy, you can put yourself in a pretty good position to kind of find um, you know, moves like that with solid consistency. So showed you a couple there. Um, as far as other open positions, got a position here in CrowdStrike. I think a good looking daily squeeze. Uh, we got positions in the industrials. You got your daily, your three day, your weekly there. We got positions in Tesla. We got positions in Apple. And then positions in Peloton, uh, which we're going to want to see a bounce here earlier in the week. A little bit sloppy here. A little bit sloppy. And then uh, last week we took a nice trade on NVIDIA. So here, kind of the same concept. You had a daily squeeze and then you had a four hour. You had a two hour squeeze. You had a one hour squeeze. So pretty simple stuff. You find a stock in an uptrend. You wait for squeezes at the 21 EMA. And if you can find another squeeze on a four hour and another on a two hour, a one hour, a 30 minute, the more squeezes, the merrier. So few things for y'all to focus on if you're a fan of the squeeze i appreciate you watching as always and go on ahead and hit subscribe and i'll talk to you all this week see you tomorrow morning for live prep